how do you know what is true and what isn't true, not only from the news standpoint, but even in your social circles, right? And as you said, people put out there what they desire you to see and maybe not necessarily what is happening in their lives. So when you do have friends and you desire to hold compassion for them for what is happening in their life, but all you're seeing on social media is the best of their life, how do you connect and hold compassion for whatever is happening in their life when you can't connect and know what's happening? Do you ever find that there's a breakdown in that area where you're not truly able to connect with the people you care about because you don't know if what they're putting out is true or the sense that you're getting from them is true or what is that like? I, I would say that like with within like my close friends, if they're posting things on, on social media that maybe aren't authentic to exactly what's going on in their life it's not like they're putting up a wall and pretending like nothing is wrong like in reality i saw the picture before it was edited or i took the picture or or i know that this situation is happening and so they're posting this to try to hide that you know like i think when when you're comfortable with someone you share what's actually going on in your life and, and we're all pretty aware that like what we're sharing on social media is just one blink in time and it's not, it doesn't represent your entire life. So I don't think that people, I don't think friendships are altered by people sharing the best of the best of their life or like maybe not being authentic to all of the bad things that are going on in their life. They don't have to post all of that on social media in order to look for empathy from their friends. Thank you for sharing that. Because we do hear a lot of that too, especially when you talk about celebrities, right? Not necessarily that I do a lot of celebrity watching, but people bash on celebrities because they only post the positives of their life and they don't share other things then they get the cancel culture that we have today they end up getting canceled for not being authentic or for having a moment where what they truly are isn't is seen out in the public and then they're like oh you've been fake the whole way but as you just expressed people who truly know them probably know what was going on in their lives mm -hmm. and that's the key point you don't put everything on social media because that's accessible to everyone. So you desire to put something out there to say, hey, I'm still here, I'm still okay. But you save the authenticity potentially for the people who truly know you. That doesn't mean that those who use, who generationally use, like TikTok, you're not gonna put out on TikTok like deep secrets about your life, but you're gonna make fun TikTok videos. It doesn't make you a shallow person. And I think it's important to share those kind of things so that we can begin to understand the purpose of the different levels of social media. Because you'll hear generationally people talk about TikTok is like the end. We're headed toward the end. They're not taking life seriously anymore. But what I hear you saying is that's not it. We understand the use of TikTok. And we understand that our friends may make a funny video, but that doesn't mean that they're not having important life crisis. And I can be there for the important life crisis and appreciate the funny video. Yeah. And I think there are also plenty of people on TikTok that do share a lot of details of their life. But, but I don't think social media is meant for authenticity. You know, it's every single thing that you see on social media is one moment in time. There's no way that you can capture someone's entire life and their entire emotions and everything about them through social media. Those are the type of, that's the type of information that you learn from personal connection. And I don't, I think maybe that's a gap between your guys' generation and ours is that we see social media as like a momentary thing that is 
only small parts of people's personalities where like your guys's generation is maybe looking for an entire personality to be represented through a social media page. Thank you.